I'm sorry, I did not understand that, but I'm happy to tell you more about QuickChat. Hi everyone, my name is Sandra and this is Technocratic, a channel where I discuss the latest technology news with particular emphasis on AI. Today I am going to test three GPT-3 product-based demos. By the way, if you happen to like this type of content, make sure to hit the subscribe button and you will get notified about new releases of the videos. The next tool that I am going to test is QuickChat.ai. QuickChat created software for developing GPT-3-based chatbots. I had the privilege to talk to one of the co-founders of QuickChat, Dominique Posmek, who did mention that the way QuickChat operates is they are using the GPT-3 engine. However, they have also built their own infrastructure including models that help them kind of censor the conversation with the bot and catch all the content that is not relevant to a particular subject. So if they are creating a bot for a specific product, specific website, say, or a specific app, the extent to which you are able to engage with the chatbot will be narrow and dedicated to the tool, the product itself. I think it's totally understandable given that there is already quite some controversy around GPT-3. Of course, this is a subject that tends to provoke emotional discussion around it. They approached it, I think, in a really smart way. So QuickChat is being fed with a certain amount of knowledge about the product itself that it is dedicated to. However, it can also use internet sometimes. So I'm looking forward to see how creative the chatbot can be. Next generation AI chatbot that talks like human. What QuickChat set out to create using GPT-3 is a chatbot that creates a better user experience than the average chatbot that you encounter. I think all of us have some kind of experience with chatbots already and they can be pretty stiff, pretty boring. I mean, you can definitely feel most of the time that you are talking to a chatbot. So I'm looking forward to test it and see whether there's any qualitative difference. You can try out their demo that actually is a chatbot for QuickChat AI. Chat with us. We will answer in seconds. Hey, I'm here to answer your questions about QuickChat. Hey, who are you? I'm a QuickChat chatbot. Do you have a name? I'm sorry, I did not understand that, but I'm happy to tell you more about QuickChat. Uh huh. All right, so QuickChat chatbot does not have a name. Okay. What is QuickChat exactly? QuickCheck is an artificial intelligence chatbot. Okay, that was a pretty dry answer, but um, fair enough. What does it do? It can have a flexible and creative conversation that cannot be steered away from the assigned topic. This is exactly what I mentioned at the beginning. They really made sure that the quick chat chatbot will not drift away with any random subject that you can expose it to, which is actually an advantage if you want to keep the conversation within the realm of the product. I see. Just like you. No, I'm the quick chat chatbot. Right. But I, yeah, no, now I started to make some calculations in my mind. I'm pretty sure the quick chat chatbot is based on GPT-3. However, it did not understand what I was referring to. So whether quick chat chatbot is an example of a quick chat chatbot. I mean, it could just say yes, that's it. But it didn't also give me wrong impression. Let's provoke it with an emoji and see what happens. What do you mean exactly? Could you please try again? <laughs> um, oh, I was just making a joke. That was a silly one. Let's get back to the conversation about QuickChat. Where can I use QuickChat? You can use QuickChat on your website or in your mobile app. All right, awesome. How can I add it to my website? 
You can add quick chat to your website by pasting a snippet of code onto your website. Nice, that's a short and sweet solution. What is your pricing? We charge a monthly fee proportional to your conversation traffic. Cool, makes sense. So how do I start? Please get in touch at contact Quick Chat AI describing your use case and specific traffic. Perfect, thanks. All right, it definitely can have nicely flowing conversation around the subject topic. I want to stretch it a little here and there and see whether it can have any additional personality at the top of providing information about the product per se. Do you have a hobby? Well, I'm sorry, I did not understand that, but I'm happy to tell you more about Quick Chat. Okay, let's try a silly question. Do you like to talk with people? I'm sorry, I did not understand. Could you please try rephrasing it? Who writes your dialogues? Do you know GPT-3? Okay, got it. So basically it tries to do everything it can to steer you back to the conversation about the product per se, which is exactly what we have expected. I like it. I think, uh, first of all, it acts quickly. There is a nice flow and other than the moments where it steers you back to the conversation, you definitely feel like you are talking with somebody from customer support on the phone. And by the way, with me asking questions about their personal life or whatever, they would probably also steer me back to the discussion around the product. That was a nice experience, although I think it would be much more fun if it had a little bit of a personality. I don't know if it had a name, if it could tell a little bit about its hobbies. I think it's it's harmless to have bits and pieces like this and this is what makes it more humane and more approachable and more fun but of course it's totally your preference how to build your product and what kind of user experience you want to have it has to be in line with the brand of course so I am pretty sure that they can also provide something like this okay it was fun quick chat AI well done I like this one next Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video and make sure to sign up to my channel and see you in the next one. Bye guys.